Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon Miller Time Edition because we're doing, trying to do the mill. We're trying to at least do the boss in the mill so we can get that achievement unlocked because we have to do the boss after the miller and then we succeed. You just gotta wait for it to load. So while it's loading, we it's here. Okay, onward. So we've, we're up to getting up to the miniature rewards. Everyone's in a decent position and we have a decent crew of people that can do stuff. So, here we go. The light bends. Haunting. Is it? Oh, it's green. Okay, so blight. More stress, okay. You tread beyond the reach of reality. Okay, so we should speed. No one needs healing, so we can go for the stun. Who is the most likely to be you? Yes, okay. Good. We gotta de stress the two front people. Butcher cunt. Okay. How much HP does he have? Three. Okay. Yep. That hits. And then we do the de-stress. Good. Then it's your turn. You do the party heal. We've got a rhythm going. Got a rhythm going. Ooh! Ooh! Alright. And then he goes for the direct shot and kills that guy. Ooh! Vomit! Ugh. Oh, he's got the fits. What's the fits? Don't be stunned, don't be stunned, don't be stunned. Ooh. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Oh, lovely. Now we do this. Um, what's the fits? Increased speed, okay, so that's decent. Uh, what's our ratio at? We do that again, and we gotta de stress the backliner. This guy's gotta do this. Because we actually had to kill the thing and the thing. Okay. He's bleeding, but it's not that bad. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. De stress. The Party heal. War can be healed, but never hidden. Two HP left. He gets to act. Ah. Okay. Pig spear. Well, that bad. Um. Kind of want to do that. You shoot that. Good. Party heals. Good hit. Then he goes. Oh, he goes back. Okay, good. Top of the top of the turn. Heals. Ballad. The ground quakes. Ooh. Your turn. Pig spear. That's only six damage, that's good. Oh, 
We need to keep that going. Heals again. Now we need to de stress. So good. And then he does a retreat. No. Crunching backhand. That could be a, a stun. Stun. Okay. Only eight damage. And then. We bleed you. Nice. Healer heals. All lovely. Web. That could be a stun. Yeah. All right. No bite. Okay. Obliterated. One down. Um. Do that. Decimated. There we go. That should be everything in this. No? Alright, we got more things to do. Um. We do the buff again. Group heals. Doing good. Oh my god. Okay, Blight is bad. Vomit is bad. He has to do stress next turn. Ball and chain, that could be a stun that happens. Stun didn't happen. Oh no, it did happen. Damn. Top of the turn. Good. Bring you back down. Still need to do it again on both of them. That's bad. Inspiration and improvement. That hurts. Stun. That's not good. Oh, this is bad. We're going to have to do a big heal on you. Definitely big heal. Oh. Top of the turn. You first. Masterfully executed. Okay. Healer really should. Uh, we need to get you up. Okay, good. You're at the front. Sleep is dream. Okay, that's good. A place of refuge, if only for a fleeting mirth. Packs laden with loot are often low on okay. supplies. So you live one round, you have two rounds, we can deal with the damage. Alright. Let's not worry about the things. We're up to Lord Medium. We move. Normal. Okay. Filled with blood. Healing is an issue, but that's fine. You buff everyone. Front guy's dead at least. Ceaseless labor. We can pretty much deal with these guys. They're very easy to deal with, especially seeing as they mostly target the front two. And they do blight, but that's fine. Damage wise, we can deal. That's a stress indu induction right there. Top of the turn. Healer heals. Now that it's his turn, and we did the buff, we do the de-stress. We de-stress the healer first. 
you're out of danger. You know, weren't really in danger at all. Good. Your turn. If it is, yes. Do this and that. Good damage. Good, good damage. Alright, keep an eye on how long the episode's going. Well, it's gonna be 10 minutes and we've done a decent chunk. Alright, we got another reality bender. Party heal. And then. Speed up. Oh, we double killed. Oh, that's good. That is so good. So the seeds at stress. Dodged good. Cecil Slipper is damaged. Top of the turn. De stress. Oh, good. Healer heals. Keeping everyone topped up. One HP. One HP. Okay, that can easily be healed. We've got our pattern, which is good. One enemy down. Heal. Need a single target on you. Their turn. So the seeds. The stress is still too high. You got blighted. So the seeds right there. So you have to de-stress yourself. Your priority. Top of the turn. What do we got? De-stress yourself. I like how you can get parties that have a specific set of moves that you just know what to do. You don't really change it up, you keep the consistency. Okay, your turn. Nice. And we've reached a goal. Chance to rest. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. So let's see. What are our options? Actually, range skills is always good because we're, we're actually doing that more often. So we'll do that. Jester. Or companions. We'll do this one. You. We'll do this. Oh, it's for all companions. Actually, that one. I didn't mean to do that. I bet that's... Oh, look. No, that was for everyone. Okay, that's fine. And then... There. Nice. Your thing only lasts for two more turns, so that's fine. That worked out really well. The color alters Splendorous. Let's see. Virtue chances increased. Stress skills have increased, so we're going to be able to de-stress good. But our resistances are down. Okay. That guy's going to be a problem. We have to kill that guy as quickly as well, because he can blow up, which causes massive stress. So, first things first, we do that. Then you do this to hit and get rid of the bloated guy. Speed. We go for the stun on you because you're an issue. That's good. And he does a barrier, okay. Top of the turn. 
everyone gets hit. We don't need to... actually, we'll, we'll start the de-stressing early. 21 this time, that's good in this area. Shockwave, and that was a good choice to do it that early. And then we do this to do that. Guy dodged, that's bad. The blood quickens. Stunned? Yes! That means he's not going to be able to do his bleed skill, because that bleed is strong. Speed. Now we heal. You just start focusing down him. Good. Good. And the bleed happens. No? Okay. Whew. Um, I'm going to do that. I want you to be stunned. He resisted this time. Okay. Is that a buff? It's a buff. Get out of here. Only he's acting. This is gonna hurt. The bleed's gonna happen. It's only three. Okay. Not as... Oh, it's arterial punch, I think, is the worst one. Good damage. Good. Speed. Stun. Yes! Okay. Don't want title slam. We don't want any shifting. Yeah, that's the big bad bleed. So we're focusing you down. You keep resisting. That's good. He can deal with some damage, don't do it. We have to get rid of him. Title slam. Thank God. He can be bled. That's fine. How much HP? up that heals. That's a pull forward. Did you resist? You resisted. Oh. Good hit. Title slam. You can be moved around. Because you act oh he's stunned so he can't act first. Healer's still in the good spot. Oh, we, we're not going to be able to do enough damage to that. So we actually were forced to do that. That's bad. Eldritch push. You are dead on your turn next turn anyway, so that's fine. That bleed can be cured next turn. Oh no! Sleep is dream. Okay, cool. Battle behind, battle ahead. But for a moment, peace. Whew. 
Uh, okay. Default party order. And we're at the 20 minute mark. I guess three batches is what we'll do in this episode. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button and see more the notification bell to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys next time.